Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and this is just a quick update video on the Spot Micro project. So one of the issues I was running into with Spot Micro is it running out of strength, so to speak, and unable to maintain the correct position on its feet. Now I've been using these servos, the PDI HV five five two three MG. These are a high voltage. Uh, servo it can run up to 8.4 volts. Your typical 2S LiPo battery is 7.4, and I've got a pair of those in the bottom of Spot's instrument tray. Uh, these just didn't have the power I needed. Uh, they're rated at 23 kilogram centimeters at 8.4 volt and 19.2 centimeters a kilogram per centimeter at 6 volt. Previously, I've used these 35 kg per centimetre servos from Picaro, rated with a maximum voltage of 7.2, so good for a 6 volt system. And they had the strength I needed, they had a tendency to get warm, and I needed to run at 6 volts. So, and one of the problems I had with the PLA framework that I had is sometimes the joints would get hot and become soft and flexible when the servos got warm. So I decided to take another tact. I'm going to add one of these 20 amp switch mode power supplies on the back of spot. It is going to add something in the order of 80 grams to the weight of the robot but these servos are well and truly big enough to carry it at 35 kg. I've also decided to reprint the housings of the robot. So this is all uh, resin printed. So SLA resin printed. I'll just grab a bottle. So this is the resin I'm using from Many Cubic UV Tough Resin. This is in the clear. It comes in a 1kg bottle. And in Australia, it's about 48 to $50 a bottle. And I found that when you print them, uh, they come out with this white colour. So that's after washing and curing. Then I found if you then go back and paint over the top with the same resin again and re-cure, it becomes reasonably clear. And you can see there, you can, in some places, you can actually still read the, sorry, the size number. On the side of the servo and poking my hand through the LCD point port you can see my fingers all the way up and you can see how far up I've painted in the resin over the top up to this point so I'll probably take this off give it another couple of coats just to try and get it clear and I may yet take the cover off here and do the same there is a fairly solid section in here of print and you can see a little bit here where I've actually uh, put a scaffold inside and hollowed it out to try and drain the fluid out, the resin, during the print. And it's actually quite strong. Now, this uh, tough, flexible resin, it does have a little bit of flex to it, which means it doesn't break and it springs back. This stuff is reasonably heat resistant once you have got it cured. And I think this is going to make a, a nice addition to the robot. I did start with the front end and I put the 23 kilo servos back into the front end of spot initially but they just aren't powerful enough so I'm going back to these 35 kilos. Instead of using the extensions I had done previously I actually pulled, opened up the servo and pulled the wires out the servos main board and then extended the wires. And that's about, um, I think it was 180 mil I extended it. 140 mil. I uh, cut my wire links to. And I've actually done all the servo, or four of the servos now, one for each leg. And that's for the wrist. So these ones have already been extended. You can actually see the join a little bit here where I've joined the wires. And so now when you compare that length with the length of the other servo, they come out of being roughly the same length. 
and these are long enough to reach the servo controller on the main board so that's just a bit of an update I'm actually very pleased with how clear these came out I'm actually thinking of uh, disassembling it again doing this top cover and doing the lower leg to make it the same um, and then I'll transfer all the electronics into there so I've still got to drill my holes for the little switch mode power supplies that go inside here I'll probably only put one back in because I've only got one in use at the moment and it, you'll be able to see the electronics through that so it'll be a good demonstration robot I think that'll do for this video if you like these videos don't forget to click on like subscribe ring that notification bell it's a form of help that supports the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to help the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my Patrons, VIPs, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger and my Builder Patron, El Morales 45 in supporting the channel. I also have a Discord channel and there'll be a link in the description to my Discord. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop in and ask questions. And we'll see you later.